Evidence Support File CSF1 Normal vs Exponential. We're going to attempt to generate a series of presentations focusing on individual points to a level that is sufficiently clear and basic as to support court cases as required. Note to censors we use only government data. If you have a problem with the results, speak to the government. Our first topic will introduce and distinguish the exponential curve and the normal curve. A great deal has been made of the threat of the virus based on exponential growth. It has now been made official by the UK government in the September 21st Valence Witty presentation and by the September 25th joint statement, both of which explicitly reference exponential or continuous growing at the same rate, which is the defining characteristic of exponential. No contagion ever recorded has been exponential. However, first, let us become familiar with the two critical curves, the normal and the exponential. Our presentations will be targeted at the layman and will avoid maths and numbers to the greatest extent possible. By the same token, the slightest familiarity with the curves by a school leaver mathematician or degree level mathematician will suffice to recognize that we are not presenting difficult or contentious material. Charts will be developed on Excel using simple formulae and images of such spreadsheets may be included occasionally. For the most part, the end result will suffice as the underlying mechanism will be clear to anyone familiar with Excel. The only formulae used will likely be the norm.dist function, normal distribution and the power function. In, the, in this presentation, we will discuss the nature of exponential in the mathematical sense. We start with an example of an exponential curve for daily cases using figures cited for COVID, doubling every five days per Ferguson's Imperial College COVID-19 response team report 9. We start with a single case. Doubling every five days is equivalent to 1.15 times per day or a 15% increase per day. A more exact figure is 1.14869 8355, which can be derived as equals power to to the one-fifth in Excel. For the lay viewer, just ignore that and focus on the 1.15 or 15% per day. Consider that you will be lucky to earn 1% per year in interest and maybe charge 15% per year on a personal loan and then consider the power of 15% per day. In 90 days you would owe £250,000 on your £1 loan. Given how absurd and extreme that would be, gives us some indication of why scientists and the government had better have good grounds for using such an outrageously powerful escalation of threat. They don't. Notice the C, G and F, the latter two are reversed versus our previous videos, as we feel it is more intuitive this way. C is the context we're measuring here cases, but it could be deaths, hospitalizations, any figure. G is the growth rate. Strictly, it is an initial growth rate, G0 then akin to R0 or R0. But it doesn't change. That is true of the exponential curve, and here we indicate it by a novel parameter F, the growth decline factor. Each day the growth rate of the curve is modified by the growth decline factor. This is a novel concept introduced by us, but is simple and extremely relevant. For an exponential curve, the growth doesn't change, so f equals 1. Thus on day 5, for example, g5 equals g4 times f, where f equals 1. So g5 equals g4, the same rate. Trivial and pointless right now, but it will be a critical concept in due course. The curve is labelled as c.n.exp. This indicates that it is cases, new, i.e. daily figures, not total figures, and for the exponential curve. If you want the total cases, we add each day's cases, dotted line, to the previous total, solid line, to get the second curve, solid line, total or cumulative. It is labelled c.t.x for total cases, exponential. Notice that we've currently limited the chart to 250,000, so the total rises rapidly and reaches 250,000 well before the daily cases reaches 250,000 per day. If we let the total do its thing all the way out to 90 days, and bear in mind we're writing this 240 days after the first lockdown, so 90 days is short in those terms, 
then the total reaches nearly 2 million cases, with 250,000 new cases every day. Of course, that 250,000 cases is still growing. The very next day it's at 290,000, and the total tops 2 million at 2.225 million, not shown here. How soon before e.g. the UK becomes overwhelmed at 66 million people? That occurs on day 116, the 24th of June, if we start on the 1st of March, not even halfway to our current 25th of November date, which will be day 269. Four months for every human being in Britain to be a Covid case. That's exponential. On that day, Covid is infecting people at the rate of 9.5 million per day. Thank heavens for lockdown, the only thing that saved us. Or did it? What if the virus was never exponential in the first place? Bear in mind the 1.15 growth rate, doubling every five days, is the real growth rate used by Ferguson in ICCRT Report 9. 1.104, 10% per day, doubling every seven days, was Valance 21st September. No wonder scientists are so ardently tracking R0. R0 is not identical to, but related to our much simpler G or daily growth, except the entire threat, the scare factor, hangs on exponential. What if it was never exponential? That's it for now. I'm Andrew Mather, a 60-year-old Brit, mathematician, financier, technologist, husband, biker, pilot, healer, whatever. Feel free to get in touch, andrew at peerlessreaders.com or andrew at amather.com. Either should get to me.